In Europe, we're still relatively new. We've been in Europe seven or eight years now, so it's important for us to have our face out there every time and, uh, and kind of show people that we are growing, and every time we come back to this show, the products are more advanced. We've got a, a new series of wheel loader here today, our H series, so uh, showing the progression is critical for us. We're a full line manufacturer, so we've got 14 different uh, product lines. So it takes quite a lot of coordination to get the different aspects of research and development to come together. And we're based in China, so most of the R&D is done in China. And I've got a team of about a thousand engineers. And they're, they're very good uh, with their theoretical knowledge, with their understanding of engineering. But they don't have as much experience in going out and seeing customers understanding how to solve problems. So one of our biggest challenges is teaching engineers how to think, how to problem solve, and how to advance themselves. Of course, visiting the customer is, is one of the key ways, but a lot of times you can visit the customer and you come back and you really don't have an answer because you didn't do your research right at the customer. So we teach people when you're out there, what do you look for, what kind of questions do you ask. Many of the markets are very advanced emissions, but many are not. So we need simple machines, that can go into markets where the fuel is not so clean and we need some pretty high-tech products that can go into the advanced markets. And that takes a different kind of R&D to do that.